The heat is turning up at Westminster, both inside and out. The leadership race has been reduced to three. So, Kemi Badenoch is eliminated from the election. The remaining three candidates will proceed to a final ballot at the Parliamentary Party tomorrow. Rishi Sunak still leads the way, leaving Liz Truss and Penny Mordaunt locked in an increasingly bitter battle for the last spot on the ballot paper. In recent days, infighting has exposed the deep divisions in the Conservative Party. So much so that Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak have pulled out of Tuesday's TV clash. Do you regret pulling out of tonight's debate? Truss's team claims she is the main challenger to Sunak and that her campaign gained momentum after Sunday's debate, which could mean that cancelling her next TV appearance was actually a case of quitting while she's ahead. I can hit the ground running at number 10, driving economic growth by cutting taxes and delivering tough reform. I've shown what I can do on Brexit, on trade and on Ukraine. I've shown that I'm trusted to deliver. The Foreign Secretary does seem to be winning over party members. According to the latest survey by Conservative Home, she would beat both Sunak and Mordaunt. This will be a wake-up call for Mordaunt. She remains in second place in the MP's ballot, with 92 votes to Truss's 86. But surprisingly, more of Tom Tugendhat's supporters moved to Team Truss, rather than Mordaunt, in Tuesday's vote. And many expect Kemi Bardenock's backers will do exactly the same. Over the past few days, Mordaunt has been fighting off what she called smears over her position on trans rights and her record as a minister. I would just say to all four of my other colleagues and candidates here, I, I know why this is being done. But what I would say to you is that all attempts to paint me as an out-of-touch individual will fail. I'm the only person on this stage Penny, just that has truth. won and I'm fought just a Labour seat. In the meantime, Truss has been busy wooing the Tory right. And she is ready to steal Mordaunt's more centrist backers. She is pledging to raise defence spending and look again at the size of the armed forces. Mordaunt has promised she won't engage in negative campaigning. This could be just what the party wants after three tumultuous years under Boris Johnson. Or it could edge her out of the increasingly cutthroat race. I'll get that little piece of danger, of course.